In this video segment, we're going to continue talking about webbing. In the first uh, webbing segment, we were talking primarily about the mechanical properties, but now we're going to start talking about more of the, the walking characteristics of the webbing or what that actually means in regards to the different types of webbings that are available. So to start off with, um, we're going to start with nylon. Nylon was actually the first webbing that was used for slacklining. It originated back in the 60s and 70s within the climbing, you know, the golden era of climbing. Um, these are actually really great webbings for beginners and you know, slightly more intermediate um, slackliners. The, the tubular webbings that are commonly available in most retailers or most outdoor retailers um, have, a, have a high degree of stretch. Um, they're actually really fun for your beginner lines. Um, but then as you start going into longer lines and high lines and stuff, um, we have a couple different options. We have nylon flat webbing and we also have threaded tubular webbing, which is, they're both awesome webbings for, for trick lining and for getting a lot more movement within the system. That's one of the big advantages of nylon is it has a lot of stretch, so it allows for a lot of vertical movement and side to side movement. So if we're going for big bounces and big tricks like that, nylon's probably the way to go. Um, when we start get, talking about polyester webbings, um, these webbings are, are more designed specifically for slack lining. It's harder to find these just off the shelf. Um, so we have, you know, we also have tubular webbings and flat webbings within polyester. One of the cool things about polyester is that um, it's a, we, we consider it pretty much a medium stretch webbing, generally around 6 to 7% stretch. So it doesn't take as much, you know, pulley force and, and, and um, stroke or throw as would nylon that stretches at, you know, an, you know, anywhere from 12 to 20 percent, depending on what type of webbing you're using. Um, so polyester is great for, for your medium stretch applications. Um, it comes in flat tube. It's got a slightly higher minimum breaking strength um, than nylon, and it's also commonly used for um, the two-inch slack line systems, typically the ones with the ratchets. Um, again, there's, there's the, uh, limitations to that just because there's only, you know, so much throw that you can get out of a ratchet line before you know, it becomes ineffective or before you start running into problems. Um, so those are, those are actually really great for good movement, um, good tricks. High tension lines are actually pretty good, as well as long lining and high lining. It's a very versatile um, type of webbing and type of fiber that we use a lot. Then, after your nylons and polyesters, we start getting into your high-tech fibers, your Vectrans, Dynemas, and Kevlars. These webbings have a really high breaking strength to weight ratio. So you can get incredibly light webbings that is incredibly strong. So if you're going for your big sends or something, these are actually really strong, really controllable. And, you know, unfortunately, they're somewhat expensive too. Typically around two to three dollars a foot, depending on which manufacturer you go with. Um, there's also some, some complications when it, turn, when it comes to actually loading the high tech webbings into a, a webbing anchoring device, like a ram lock or a web lock. Um, just because they're a little more slippery. So if you start experiencing a little bit of slip, it's best to do either a one and a half wrap or a double wrap on those just to eliminate that potential for slip. All right. So, so again, like these different types of webbings, they all have different characteristics. And just a really brief summary, like nylon webbing actually allows for a lot of vertical movement, a lot of stretch, and it's a lot of fun. But it also has, you have to take out a lot of stretch within the system. Polyester, you know, it has very good degree of bounce, limited stretch, um, and it's, it's a really good all-around uh, slackline webbing or fiber to, used, to be used in our systems. The high-tech fibers, they're a little bit more limiting. Like I said, they're really meant for going for the sends, going for, you know, lightweight stuff. Um, there's not a lot of bounce that you can get out of them just due to the, the stretch rating, you know, around one, two, three percent sort of thing. So if you're trying to do a lot of bounces when it's fairly tensioned, you'll feel like you'll kind of hit a bottom, you'll hit a floor before you actually start bouncing back up again. So there's a little bit different characteristics for each. Um, it's really up to you to, to talk to people, call up the different manufacturers and ask them what, the, what they recommend. But really, you know, all these different types of webbings are great and they all allow for different, different expressions, different movement and a different experience. So do your, do, do your due diligence and make sure that you, you pick a webbing that's gonna suit your needs um, before you actually invest in it.